Let's see the differences between an elastic demand and an inelastic demand. Because this is probably the most important concept that we have to keep in mind when it comes to selling stuff. Elastic demand and here we will have inelastic demand. And I will, just a second, inelastic demand. I, I will suggest a different way to think about elasticity, think as sensitivity, think as reaction. So how reactive are people to changes in prices? How reactive, how sensitive, how reactive people are to changes in prices? And let's, let's, let's see how that works out through examples. For example, what if we would have an elasticity of demand equals to minus 0 0.4? Well, how do we interpret it? That means if price increases by 1%, then quantity demanded decreases by 0.4%. What happened here? When price increases by 1%, quantity demanded decreases by less than it, meaning that people are not very reactive. People don't react much to changes in prices. Quantity demanded doesn't fall that much. So here we have that quantity demanded does not fall that much. Does not fall that much. Quantity demanded or the change in quantity demanded is less than the change in, uh, in price. Is less than the change in price. That means that people don't react a lot. So let's say consumers better because we're selling to consumers, to customers. Consumers do not react a lot. And if consumers do not react a lot to prices, it means they're quite insensitive. They're, they're inelastic, the demand is inelastic. So inelastic demand, I hope this makes sense. Inelastic demand. Let's contrast this with another example. So zoom out, get some more space over here. What if we would have an elasticity of demand equal to 1.8? Elasticity of demand equals to uh, minus, sorry, minus 1.8. That means that if price increases by 1%, then quantity demanded would decrease by 1.8%. What we can see here is that the reaction in quantity demanded, the reaction in the demand is quite high it's more than the change in price. So quantity demanded, the change in quantity demanded is higher than the change in price. Is higher than the change in price. That means that people are quite reactive. People are quite reactive. They, they decrease their demand a lot. They really didn't like this change in price. And what does that mean? Well, that means that we have an elastic demand. Consumers react a lot. So elastic demand over here, elastic demand. And now let's contrast this. Let's contrast this if we would have an elasticity of demand equal to one. Elasticity of demand equals to one. That means if price increases by 1%, quantity demanded decreases by 1% as well. What we see here is that the change in quantity demanded is the same as the change in price. So the change in quantity demanded is the same as change in price. So the proportion is equal. We're talking about a unit, unit elastic demand. So people react proportionately to the change in price. If price goes up by 1%, quantity demanded would go down by 1% as well. So this is the highlight of, of elasticity here. We have unit elastic, elastic demand, and inelastic demand. And now with all this in mind, let me zoom out and make it like a, like a summary, because the same logic applies to elasticity of supply. If the suppliers react more to their own supply than the change in prices, then in that case, they are quite elastic as well, quite reactive. But if they don't increase their supply a lot, it means that they're quite inreactive, insensitive to the change in prices. Maybe they are in an industry where the government sets a quota of how many sales they can have per year. So in that case, even if the price would go up, they wouldn't be able to sell more. So they would be 
and inelastic supply. Now, to generalize this whole concept, let's do it this way. Uh, if the absolute value, the absolute value of the elasticity, either of demand or of supply, is less than one, so the reaction is less than the change in price, we are speaking about an inelastic demand or about an in basically we're speaking about inelastic region inelastic inelastic demand or supply if if we would have an absolute value of our elasticity which is greater than 1 meaning that either consumers will react to the prices a lot or suppliers will react to the prices a lot then in that case we're thinking about elastic demand or supply elastic demand or supply and the last case would be that if our absolute value of the elasticity is equal to one we're speaking about unit elastic demand or supply where the percentage change in quantity is the same as the percentage change in price unit elastic demand or supply i hope this makes sense we're done